I can't even tell you how excited I am to show you how to do this because this can be an incredible tool. It's done so much for my own business to be able to put an, a powerful resource into motion for your audience. But you can also use this as a lead magnet. So if you're somebody who you're struggling with things that you can create that people will want, creating a bot, a chat GPT bot, it's called a GPT, is going to change the game for you and allow you to be able to really, really service your audience in a, in a fresh new way. So let's head over to chat GPT so I can show you exactly how to do this. You know, I have your attention. So before we actually do it, I also want to mention below this video, you're going to see the replay of the LinkedIn masterclass I did. If you are not using LinkedIn, you should easily, you could easily repurpose content, by the way. It is an incredible platform for so many opportunities to reach really quality leads. So make sure you watch the masterclass below. And also our membership program is open right now, The Vault. You can tap into over 100 courses, there's challenges we do every month. There's so much stuff. So look below this video. Okay. Now we need to know what we're going to do for the bot. So before I show you how to actually build it, we're going to look at what we could do for the bot. So your first thing you're going to do is you're going to log into chat GPT and you need to make sure that it is the chat GPT plus. So if you don't see it over here, you might need to upgrade your account. Okay. Come over here to GPTs and you're going to click explore. You can see all these different ones that I have used. Um, and I have opted into uh, this one right here to, to see somebody else's, which I've actually been using it a lot and I love it. So thank you for putting that up there. Okay. So this is what it looks like. And then there are all kinds of uh, different kinds of, of like templates they already have, but I always create mine from scratch. So you're going to click my GPTs after you've made them if you need to do anything or go see them, but we're going to click create. So we're going to actually make the chat GPT. So I'm going to come over here to just a thread. I have so many different like threads in chat GPT. So I just pulled up an old one. So I'm going to show you how you can use your chat GPT to help you come up with a topic. Okay. Or what you want to do for your bot. So I am demoing uh, GPTs. Can you give me 10 ideas for GPT bots for female entrepreneurs in the mindset space? Let's do that mindset space. Okay. So here are some ideas of different things that we could do. Okay. So you could use this. You might already have something in mind. Maybe there's something people always ask you for. Also, this can be a way for people to experience you if they can't invest in coaching just yet. So it's a really great way for them to kind of get a taste for what it's like to be in your circle. Um, yeah, let's just do this first one. Um, I really like that a lot. Okay. So we're going to do the mindset shift coach. Okay. Let's just pretend that's what we're going to do. So we're going to come over here and we're going to configure first. So we're going to name our chat GPT, the mindset shift coach. You would hit the plus symbol and you're going to add a photo. I'm not going to do it because this is just pretend, but you would just add a photo right here. Very easy to do. I've had zero, zero problems uploading photos and then, um, description. Okay. So we are going to go with, uh, we are going to go with number one. Can you write a description of a GPT? So you want to make sure it makes sense with what you're trying to do, obviously, but you can absolutely use this to write your description. And then it's really long. So what I'm going to do is, oh, are we in this one? Oh, hold on one sec. Yep, we are. Okay, just kidding. So we're over here. And so I asked it, we are going to go with number one. Can you write a description? Okay. So it's pretty long, but I actually want to look at, I'm going to pull up my GPTs that are already done so you can see what the end result looks like. And then um, we're just going to do penny. I actually have one that you can opt into. What is it called? I think it's the, yeah, the KO, KO AI content creator. I'm pretty sure you can opt into that and get it for free. So I'll put a, we'll put that below this video as well. So let me show you what a finished one looks like. So this is a finished bot. So we have that picture. Like I told you, we need that. We have the name of it. This is what the description should look like. So you want a little, just a one sentence blurb of what it is, but then you also need to tell them like what to do. Okay. So let's go here. Okay. And this is where we're asking ChatGPT to help us. Okay. So this to me looks great right here. Okay. Oh, no, that's way too long. Okay. Can you make it one sentence? Similar to here, I you know what I'm going to do. This is perfect. I'm going to take the format. So if you have a, somebody else's bot or mine, you could even just copy this over. Okay. 
Can you, similar to this format, I just copied mine from the bot I just made. Okay, here we go. Um, so this would be our bot. Okay, so we've got a description and then instructions. So we need to give it instructions. So let's go back to our thread here. Now, please write out instructions. <laughs> Don't need the emojis, but that's fine. Okay. Okay, so take a look at it. Okay, you are the mindset. So you're giving the instructions to the bot. So this is called programming, okay? So you're the mindset, mindset shift coach, a compassionate yet results-driven mindset mentor created by Dr. Kimberly. Okay, your purpose is to help female entrepreneurs identify, reframe, and replace limiting beliefs, blah, blah, blah. When interacting, this is important. Always start with empathy, ask one clarifying question, guide them through a reframe, provide a new affirmation or perspective, offer a tangible next step, keep her responses encouraging. Like I've seen people program bots where they they cuss, do not recommend that obviously, but you can make it like sound like you, okay? You could even put in here, um, you know, when you're when you're programming this, you could say, here's how I talk if it doesn't already know, and it can and it can adopt that, okay? Maintain brevity. Yeah, of, of course, avoid therapy language. Uh, okay, so this all looks good. So we're going to move this over. This in here. And then, okay, these are important. So we've got this so far. You can just hit, you know, save here and there. You have to make sure you save it and hit refresh and stuff. So these are the conversation starters. Okay, see these four bubbles here? You can have as many as you want. I mean, I, I don't know if there's a max, but the most I would do is five. So just have a few up here, okay, based on the type of bot. So we're going to go back to our chat GPT and ask it to help us with that. Okay. Um, and see how it, it says that. So yes, yes, we would. Yes, please. Okay. It's already knowing. See, it already knows what I was going to ask it. <laughs> okay. So these are obviously really long. Okay. So this is what this would look like. Let me see if, um, yeah, we don't necessarily need the quotations since it's, it's a thought bubble. So let me show you what this is going to look like. Okay. So what you're going to do, each conversation starter, and you can always come up with your own stuff, obviously. You're going to type a sentence in and see the bubble. Okay. Then you're going to go to the next one, and it's going to create another bubble. So I'm not going to switch over, but I'm just grabbing examples from the conversation starters from our that thread. So we'll just do three of them. Okay. Oh, this is super cool. Give me a journaling prompt to work through. Like, that's awesome. Okay. You can make them more big if you want to. So we've got a few here so you can kind of see what it looks like. Okay. All right. So this is awesome. So you can actually upload files to be able to allow it to get intel from you of how you coach. So I took way. So I, what I did look into is at the time of this recording, you can have up to 20 files you can upload. And I think it was 20 megabytes max. I'll have to look, you'll have to chat GPT it. But it, I uploaded, um, I think I pretty much maxed it out when I made a bot for a coaching bot that I made. And I took transcripts and all kinds of past stuff. So if you have anything you want to upload, you most likely don't need to. But if you do, you can put that in here. Maybe you have some affirmations you put together. Maybe you've written a guide on mindset and you want it to get that, you know, pull that into this bot upload it. And it's just going to give it even more direction on how to talk like you uh, with the bot. Okay. So no recommended model. Somebody did tell me, I don't remember where I figured this out, but the web search, you don't want this searchable. Okay. You want this to be a part of an offer that you have or a lead magnet. So I would uncheck searchable. Okay. So let me just, um, let me just upload a photo really quick, just so I can publish it and show you guys. Great. Okay. Okay, whatever. I just want to share that. And then let me look at Create because I don't do anything with Create. Oh, okay. That would be, we're going to configure here. I would recommend manually doing it the way I showed you. It's just going to be better. Okay. So this is what it looks like. And then you're going to hit the Create button. Now, this is key. Um, you don't want it on only me. And it has defaulted to only me a couple of times for myself. So it's going to be anyone with the link. You, I guess you can put it in the chat GPT store. I've never done that. So you could look into that. Okay. We're going to click Save. Now, this is really important, and I've made this mistake. When you come back into it, because you're going to test it out, when you come back into it, if you want something to be different, okay, so we have the link here. So we're going to, you can copy the link, copy the link and sa save it. I found myself needing to do that a couple of times. So go ahead and copy the link, okay? We're going to view the chat GPT. 
Okay, so I actually want, uh, I'll show you in a second. Okay, now you're going to test it out, okay? If you want to give people a prompt right up here, you could also do that. Like share, you know, share something you're going through right now and how it can help you below, okay? Um, I need help with getting out of a funk. <laughs> Let's see if it knows what that means. <laughs> yeah. See, isn't this great? Okay, you're feeling emotionally sad, anxious, feeling really anxious about a conversation. So do it a little bit to see how it works. Okay. So let's say you you did this and you're like, no, it's not doing it right. Okay, what you would do is go back to the bot and then actually you're going to go over here to your chat GPTs, my chat GPTs. You're going to come over to yours and you're going to edit it, Okay. So now if you say, well, um, I, and this is what I want to show you. So you're like, you know what? It's, it's, um, I want it to ask people three questions instead of one. Okay. This says offer a tangible next step. You're going to say offer three tangible next steps, right? Just whatever you want to do. You just change it in here. You can use chat GPT to help you. Now this is key. After you make your changes, you have to come over here and click update. And then when you do that, Got to, the, the updates need to process. Okay, anyone with the link. Okay, and then you can copy the link. Okay, so make sure if you make any changes, you come in here, you click that update button, and you can revert if you want to go back. If you messed anything up, you can duplicate it, which is cool. I didn't know that. Okay, and that is literally it. So I'm going to put one, uh, the one I was demoing. I'm going to or showing you guys. I'm going to put that below this video so you can you can take a look at it and opt into it and just kind of experience it. So you know, but this is your homework. If you're like, oh my gosh, I want to do this. I want you to go ahead and make, make a bot right now. Make a bot, get it out there. Maybe even ask your audience, hey, I'm thinking about making um, a, G, uh, a, a chat bot. Actually, just call it a bot. I'm thinking about making a bot. This is what it would be you know, for. Would that be helpful to you? Just kind of like pull your audience. That's always a good next step. And as a reminder, I have an example below. I have the LinkedIn masterclass below. And I also have the vault info below. If you, you're like, I love your stuff, Kimberly. I want more. It's a very, it's $49 a month. Like, come on. It's like the lowest barrier of entry to come into my world. I'd love, love, love to take that next step with you. Subscribe if this is helpful. We have thousands of videos on this channel, tons of amazing playlists. And give us a shout out if this is helpful. You can always tag me at the Gold Digger Girl. Thanks for watching. Until next time, get lit in your business and set your soul on fire. We'll see you soon.